Members of the First Congregational Society of Washington considered establishing a theological seminary for the education of black clergymen shortly after the Civil War. Within two years, the university consisted of the Colleges of Liberal Arts and Medicine. The new institution was named for the General Oliver Otis Howard, Civil War hero, who was the founder of the university and the commissioner of the Freedmen's Bureau. He later became the president of the university from 1869 to 1874. The United States Congress chartered Howard on March 10, 1867. Much of the early funds came from endowment, private beneficiation, and tuition. U.S. Department of Education funds Howard University and its hospital. After five years of being an institution, Howard University became the first place of education for over 150,000 free slaves. Johnson C. Smith University was established on April 7, 1867 as the Biddle Memorial Institute in which they met at the old Charlotte Presbyterian Church. Mary Biddle was a churchwoman who donated $1,400 to the school and named the school after her late husband, Captain Henry Jonathan Biddle. In 1876, the charter was changed by the legislator of the state of North Carolina and the name became Biddle University until 1923. In 1891, Daniel J. Sanders became the first African-American president of a four-year institute in the South. From 1921 to 1922, Jane Berry Smith donated funds and renamed the institution after her late husband, John C. Smith, after she had built the theological dormitory, science hall, and a teacher's cottage, and memorial gate. Founded in 1867 by William Jefferson White, a civil rights leader, minister, educator, and journalist, along with the sixth president, Benjamin Mays, established Morehouse a private historically black men's college located in Atlanta, Georgia, as the largest liberal arts institution for men in the United States with an enrollment of over 2,000 students. Two years later, after the Civil War, Augusta Institute was founded by Reverend William Jefferson White. With the help of Reverend Richard C. Coulter, a former slave from Atlanta, Georgia, and Reverend Edmund Turney, who was an organizer of the National Theological Institute for Educating Freedmen in Washington, D.C. The institute was founded to educate African-American men in the theology and education, as was located in Springfield Baptist Church, the oldest independent black church in the United States. The institution moved from Augusta, Georgia to Atlanta, Georgia in 1879. It received sponsorship from American Baptist Home Mission Society. The organization helped establish several HBCUs, its first president was Reverend Joseph T. Robert, who was an anti-slavery Baptist minister from South Carolina. In 1879, the Institute moved to its own location and changed its name to Atlanta Baptist Seminary. The land was donated by John D. Rockefeller. In 1906, John Hope became the first African-American president and helped with the enrollment in academic stature. In 1913, the college was renamed Morehouse College in honor of Henry L. Morehouse, Secretary of American Baptist Home Mission Society. St. Augustine University is a private historical black college located in Raleigh, North Carolina. It was founded by the Episcopal clergy in 1867 for the education of free slaves. Initially known as St. Augustine Normal School, the name changed in 1893 and St. Augustine's Junior College in 1919 when it then began offering college level coursework. In 1927, it began a four year degree curriculum. One year later, it changed its name to St. Augustine College. Hampton University is a private historically university located in Hampton, Virginia. 
It was founded in 1868 by black and white leaders of the American Missionary Association after the Civil War to provide education to freedmen. It was the home to the Hampton University Museum, which is the oldest museum of the African diaspora in the United States and the oldest museum in the Commonwealth of Virginia. In 1878, a program was created to teach Native Americans until 1923. The American Missionary Association hired its first teacher to assist former slaves in 1861. Her name was Mary Smith Peak, who has been secretly been teaching slaves and free blacks in the area despite the state's prohibition in law. The Hampton Agricultural and Industrial School, later called the Hampton Institute, was founded in 1868 after the war by the biracial leadership of the AMA, who were congressional and Presbyterian ministers. Hampton Normal and Agricultural Institute became Hampton Institute in 1930, and with the addition of departments of graduate programs in 1894, it became Hampton University. Chaffley University is a private historically black university in Orangeburg, South Carolina. It was founded in 1869 after the Civil War by Northern Methodist missionaries for the education of freedmen and their children, offering bachelor's and master's degrees. It is the oldest HBCU in South Carolina, and it was named after two Methodist churchmen. Massachusetts Governor William Chaplin and his father, Boston philanthropist Lee Chaplin. Chaplin's first president was Dr. Alonzo Webster, who was a minister and educator from Vermont, who came to South Carolina to teach the Baker Biblical Institute in Charleston, established by the South Carolina Mission Conference of 1866, Methodist Episcopal Church for the Education of African American Ministers. In 1970, the Baker Biblical Institute merged with Chaplin University. In 1896, the South Carolina General Assembly passed an act of separation to serve the State Agricultural and Mechanical Institute from Chaplin University, eventually creating South Carolina State University. Tougaloo College is a private historically black liberal arts college in Tougaloo, Mississippi. Originally established in 1869 by New York-based Christian missionaries for the education of free slaves and their offsprings, from 1871 until 1892, the college serves as a teacher's training school funded by the state of Mississippi. In 1869, the American Missionary Association of New York purchased 500 acres of one of the largest plantations in central Mississippi to build a college for freemen, their children, and recently freed slaves. The cost of construction was paid by the U.S. government through the Education Department of the Bureau of Refugees and Freedmen. In 1871, the Mississippi State Legislator granted the new institution a formal charter under the name of Tougaloo University. At the end of that year, the school included 94 elementary students, 47 that were part of the normal school, and one categorized as academic, a total of 141. In 1873, the university added a theological department for students entering Christian ministry and expanded its industrial department, adding a cotton gin. Allen University is a private historically black university in Columbia, South Carolina. Allen University was founded in Coatesboro, South Carolina in 1870 as Payne Institute for a member of ministers of the African Methodist Episcopal Church, including John M. Brown, a leader in the Underground Railroad. Its initial mission was to provide education to freedmen, formal African-American slaves and their children. In 1880, it was moved to Columbia and renamed Allen University, honoring Bishop Richard Allen, the founder of African and Methodist Episcopal Church located in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Allen University initially focused on training ministers and teachers who was considered critical to the progress of African Americans. In 1885, Joseph W. Morris, 
who was a lawyer and professor, became president of the university. Benedict College is a four-year historically black liberal arts college located in Columbia, South Carolina. Founded in 1870 by Northern Baptists, it was originally a teacher's college located on a 110-acre plantation under the control of the American Baptist Home Mission Society. Mrs. Bathsheba Adams Barbara Benedict of Pawtucket, Rhode Island, provided the amount of $13,000 to purchase the land to open Benedict Institute on December 12, 1870. This new school was established for the recently emancipated people of African descent. The first class consisted of 10 freedmen and one teacher, including Reverend Timothy L. Dodge, a trained preacher from the North. On November 2, 1894, the institution was chartered as a liberal arts college by the South Carolina legislator, and the name Benedict Institute was changed to Benedict College. On April 10, 1930, the Reverend John J. Starks, who earned his bachelor's degree from the college in 1891, became the first African-American president of the college, and five more succeeded him. Morgan State University is a public historically black research university located in Baltimore, Maryland. It is the largest Maryland HBCU. It was founded in 1867 as the Centenary Biblical Institute, a Methodist Episcopal seminary to train men in the ministry. Thomas Kelso was a co-founder and president of the board of directors who endowed the Mel Free School and Colored Institute through a legacy of his estate. Originally known as Centenary Biblical Institute and changed his name to Morgan College to honor Reverend Littleton Morgan, the first chairman of his board of trustees and landowner of the college. In 1915, Andrew Carnegie, a wealthy philanthropist, gave the school a grant of $50,000 for a central academic building. In 1918, a white community of Laurelville complained about where Morgan was built and was extremely angry that it had been sold to a Negro college. The appellant court found no basis of the complaint, and Morgan College was allowed to be constructed at the new site and later expanded. Morgan remained a private institute until 1939, and later that year, the state of Maryland purchased the school due to a state study that Maryland needed to provide more opportunities for its black citizens. Then Morgan College became Morgan State College.